Welcome to Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science for this Friday, January 20th, 2012. Our top story comes from the world of material science. At the University of Washington in Seattle, their new molecular engineering department building is being fitted with phase change materials. These PCMs are based on plant oils and are designed to save on cooling costs. At night, the material freezes from cool outdoor air and during the day it absorbs heat as it melts. This is similar in principle to cooling something with ice, but instead of water, it's other materials designed to freeze and melt within certain temperature ranges. Cambridge University is also developing PCMs from yak butter and local plants for yak herders in western China. Now, PCMs have so many applications in energy storage, including storing solar energy, but I'd like to focus on one more slightly different application. A packaging manufacturer is working with a biotech nonprofit to develop a PCM that will allow for the cooled transport of vaccines without freezing them, as freezing would reduce their effectiveness. These vaccine storage containers would mainly be used for developing countries which have little to no refrigeration, and the two organizations are working to meet World Health Organization standards. We now turn to the world of physics with a rather odd story. A team at the University of Cambridge has created what's called a quantum fluid that allows them to observe quantum mechanics with the naked eye. They started with a semiconductor chip filled with microcavities. When lasers were shined into them, it converted the electrons into large quantum particles. While quantum physics generally only applies to very tiny particles, these really large particles allow for the observation of quantum mechanics on an unprecedented scale, such as quantum entanglement and other states thought to happen at tiny scales. Ultimately, this has practical applications, such as making ultra-sensitive sensors for gravity and magnetic fields. Finally, from the field of astronomy, a team working with the Canada-France-Hawaii telescope recently presented a map of dark matter in space. As you may know, dark matter is an elusive substance thought to account for around 25% of matter in the universe. Now, this map was constructed from five years of observations, using the distortion of light from distant galaxies to infer the dark matter's location. Most of these galaxies were around 6 billion light years away, and the map covers around 1 billion light years of sky. Two other teams also presented a dark matter map, although focusing a bit more on distribution in the local universe. Although Although the two maps cover different distances and areas of space, there are encouraging consistencies as they move forward to the goal of a full sky dark matter map. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing and be sure to check the links in the video description.